Okay, so we are just about to remove the uh, this LTA and replace it with Big Bird. Right, Big Bertha is on. So, uh, yeah, calm weather. Extremely calm weather is requested. Yes, but it says there, it moves. It's not the easiest thing to balance, I'll tell you. Should these tight here on yep hey balti you know this is all on you now um i am still not convinced that the lucid nut is uh, okay with uh, with big bertha but i'm gonna try it yeah you convinced me so you know if this doesn't work out yeah i think you're on the leash for a week yeah okay so so that's it Let's do it. Let's bring it out. Balti, well, come look at this then. Yeah? It's what you made me do. Well, I've got to be honest. That eye, it looks pretty good. Yeah? It wasn't ours to, to balance, though. Yeah, heavy piece of shit, but yeah, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. What are you lying over there for? Oh, you don't think it's gonna work? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see about that. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a bit of a subject to do, which means that. Usually I have the dew shield on, and I have a dew heater. I'm going to stick the dew heater on, but the dew shield is a massive wind catcher, and uh, this is sensitive to wind, so, yeah, don't know about that. Yeah, I've got a little wind meter I'm going to stick here, so I can monitor the wind uh, throughout the evening as we go. Uh, yeah, let's see. I also have a few poles I can stick down each corner of the of the um, pad here and put some tarp up to shelter it in case we have, have a little bit of wind. It's it's quite nice now, but you do get the odd gusts. So hopefully I can just power up and and balance everything and and uh, <clears throat> do my uh, guide calibration, and it's all going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah, before we do anything else, we should probably pull our line. Yes. And
so comfy. How was the evening then? Was it? Was it perfect? Was it wonderful? No, it wasn't. No. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Don't walk away from me. Bumpy, Bumpy, come here. Yeah. It wasn't horrible. It, it wasn't best. It wasn't the best. Yeah, I'm not sure. We're going to take a look at the images. And that's it. So, anyway, uh, we are looking into a wall. Finished the evening. I uh, did, like, maybe two some hours, roughly, on the uh, uh, Whirlpool Galaxy M51. Yes. Uh, on Falcon's ID here. We did that. Uh, on with the edge uh, uh, HD 8 inch metcaster in here to uh, 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 continue the one I did with the Equinox, the 80mm. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's I, I was really convinced that this was too big for, for this mount, really, especially in somewhat wind conditions, and it was very calm yesterday, but still. I had to put up the tarp because any little wind uh, is sending it moving. So anyway, we'll take a look at the images, what they what they say. But um, um, yeah, I had a few hours of <clears throat> on the equinox. I had maybe uh, well an average of two um, uh, arc second and less in right ascension and and one something in declination. Uh, here I also had about one something in declination, but I had five in right ascension. Not like a solid 5 RMS, it's like in chunks, you, we'll, we'll take a look at the lovely guide images, or uh, guide data here in a bit, but it's it's not perfect, but it might be able to salvage a few, few images here and there, yeah, quite a few actually, if, if we're lucky, we'll take a look. But anyway, I have turned off everything, so I'm just gonna oh, turn the power off the motors. And so, that's it. <coughs> and planning to run tonight as well, so I'm not going to run it with the batteries, then we won't have time to charge up. So I'm going to run tonight with the mains line, power supply. We'll see, see if there's a big difference here. Yeah, uh, do it. Yes. Excrement. 